Tonight's demonstration is the corn shock or corn stand. And this is what I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this uh, kind of fun little fall standard. So let's get overhead. There we go. And we'll come down here. All right. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to put out some colors and I'm just going to kind of roughly sketch this out. Okay. Let me get a pencil real quick here. So this thing is about five fingers spread tall. So we're going to come from here. I'm going to have a little corn kind of center piece here. Maybe I'll actually might just angle it a little more like that. Okay. And then I'm just working on some multimedia paper. This is actually uh, Strathmore Town Tan 400 series. All right, it's really nice because it's perforated, so you can tear it out and put it in your um, sketchbooks or, or um, portfolio, however you like. All right, so we have a piece of corn here, and then I'm going to tilt another one right about there. And then, of course, we're thinking of our triangle, right? We want to have a nice visual triangle of our corn because those are kind of the main parts of this. And then let's put another one right here in the center. All right, so we've got a triangle here, here. And then as we're coming down and we're creating it, it's getting narrower where it's binding together, okay? So... Right here, we're going to have the ties, the rope that goes around it. And then the bottom part is going to stick out. They put them out pretty wide so they don't tip over. Okay. And then what I did was right in here, I actually stuck a piece of corn up in front of that binding right there. So that gave me a nice odd number. I've got, and actually I might even go with a little another one right here, just so it balances. Okay, so we've got a nice odd number of five up here, and then we've got some really pleasing triangles. Good placement. I think we're in good shape. Okay, so, and then we would have our ground right down there. All right, so let's get our colors out, and we'll create this. I'm going to put out some yellow ochre. Lots of different colors you could use for this. I'm just going with some standard colors that we use for corn. This is some coffee latte. And I've got some burnt sienna. I like the burnt sienna for the rope and some accents to the corn, uh, the leaves and, and stalks. Okay. Then we're going to go, we need a dark color. So we've got some burnt umber here. And then we need another lighter colored yellow for her, uh, for the um, corn. So that's a daffodil yellow right there. And of course, we always need white to try and help us get some lighter tones with our color choices. Okay, so I've got white daffodil yellow, yellow ochre, coffee latte, burnt sienna, burnt umber. And then I'm going to put out some floating medium right there. Okay, so primarily I'm working with a number 10. And depending on... Um, how big your design is going to be, you are going to adjust your brush size to accommodate that. Okay, so let's come in here. We're going to get first colors. We want some kind of coffee latte. I use coffee latte and some yellow ochre on this brush. Let's flatten this out so I can get at my colors easier. And then I'm going to come right over here and side load a little burnt umber on the coffee latte edge. Okay. All right. So we're going to come from here. Oops. So let me get a little bit of medium on here and work that in as well. Okay. All right. So we're going to come down here. Let's come down closer. There we go. All right, and I'm going to start on my chisel edge. Now we're going to create these kind of stock stems, pretty um, thick, okay? And make it a little bit more dark. All right, so we want to kind of get our 
edges first. Let them come all the way down. There we go. All the way down. So you're up straight on the chisel edge. And then I'm going to get one right up here in the center. Come right up to that corn stalk right there. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do next, let me get some more coffee latte and yellow ochre because we've got kind of our structure here. I'm just going to back and forth on the chisel edge to kind of fill in all of this in between here because it's a similar color. And then we can put all of our nice designs on top. All right, so let me get a little more of that burnt umber. And what we're going to do here is just pull up short little chisel strokes into that background that I just stroked in, okay? So we want kind of a dark background to start with and then we're going to layer our lighter colors on top. There we go. All right, so that kind of fills in our, our lower half quite easily. And then I can put a few dark streaks in here, but they'll come in more later. Okay. All right. Now get a little more medium on my brush. I'm going to come and get my two uh, darker tone colors here. And then I'm going to side load on the yellow ochre. So that was coffee latte and yellow ochre. And then I'm going to side load some white on that yellow ochre edge. And I'm going to lead with that light color. I want to work that in a little bit better though. Let's get the ochre, get the white. There we go. All right. So I'm going to lead with my darker color and pull that um, light color behind me. And that's going to allow me to get a nice pretty light edge on my leaf. So see how I led with that color and I got out. We're going to do that again. I'll describe it. So we're on the chisel, then we're going to push, slide, and then stand back up on the chisel and create that long leaf of a corn stalk, right? I mean, corn has all those big broad leaves on them. Okay. Now we're going to come here and I'm going to push, lay it down. When I come here, I'm going to stand back to the chisel, roll the top of the brush forward, slide down, stand to the chisel. All right, so you're going to get a nice rolled um, corn leaf right there. Okay, and then let's come up here and just do some long leaves coming out. I want to get a little bit brighter yellow here. There we go. So we'll get some long leaves here. So these leaves will kind of stand up and then fall over on each other in layers. So it's good to get some dark now. I'm going to side load some more of the burnt umber. And we're going to come up here, push, roll the brush. I'm standing back to the chisel, roll the brush forward and bring that light edge down. Okay. So that gives me another rolled, uh, broad leaf right there. There we go and pull that in. Now I'm going to start to pick up some of the burnt sienna on my darker edge, get some more of the coffee or excuse me, more of the yellow ochre, grab that burnt sienna, work that in. Okay, so you can get some different tones in these colors. Roll those leaves, let them flip over and fall, get some white. Cross over. So long and skinny, just light on the chisel edge, barely pressing, lift to the chisel to get a long skinny stroke. Can you see that right there? There you go. All right, I'm going to get some more burnt umber 
and the yellow ochre. Okay, now I want to start bringing some of these leaves out and make them a little wavy, right? Like they're falling over. There we go. over that one so I'm just going to come right through here and roll this back again there that'll help that overlay that one do shorter strokes in the front so I'm just layering all these different leaves and I think that's going to be pretty good for what I want to do with this brush okay so I'm going to go ahead and clean that and then we want to put our corn in. So I want to get a clean 10 flat now. And I'm going to load it with all daffodil yellow to start. All right. And then I'm going to come side stroke some of the yellow ochre to shade one side. Okay. And then I'm going to come right here and side stroke some white on my lighter yellow edge. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to come down. Let's get a little closer. I'm going to come down right here with my light edge to the top, and I'm going to stroke up to the top of that corn and then reverse direction and come back down. Okay, just a very simple rounded ed ended stroke and come right back down. So you don't have to worry about these being perfect shape because we're going to put some leaves over the top of them. So just round that end and come back to the base. Okay. Right here, around the end, come back. Okay, and then final one I had was laying right in here, so we're going to need a little more white to get that to pop off that darker background. There we go. Okay. Okay, so the, all that corn is in place. It looks kind of weird right now, but we're going to come and put some leaves on it. So I'm going to wipe off my brush and come back to my leaf colors which was the coffee latte and yellow ochre. And then I'm going to come and side load a little bit of the burnt umber on the coffee latte edge. Okay. So we're going to come to each one of these pieces of corn. And first of all, I want to touch just a little bit of pressure and then lift and pull down on these stalks that hold that corn. All right. And this one's kind of short. And then we have one right here. Okay, then I'm from that stalk, I'm going to, it's kind of like wrapping a rosebud. You're going to just create some long, um, almost like calyx leaves coming off the sides, right? So here, here, so you're just putting a leaf right in, and then one right in front like that. Just giving a hint of that corn back there, okay? Let's do that again. We're going to do it on this side. We're going to come touch at the base, push slightly, then lift and stroke to the edge. Stroke it out and you're lifting the front end of that brush so that you get a nice fine tip on that leaf. Right there. And then come right in front. Now let's get a little bit of white. I'm going to side load a little bit of white on that front edge. And we're going to come right there. So that'll help that pop out. Same thing on this one, I think. There we go. All right. So coming back to our colors. Okay. Right here. So you get the idea. Right. And I might want to pull a little one there, so I gave that one an extra boost of a leaf. <laughs> so let me know if this is something you think you might want to try adding to some of your pieces. 
I know um, some of you, like Lee Osley, who does a lot for craft shows, this might look good on one of your windows. If you had a tall window and you did some of the colored fall corn, it might look kind of pretty. Okay. So let's just put one little guy right there. All right, so now I've got most of the body of this done. I'm just gonna pick up a little more of this um, burnt sienna, because I like to add some of these red tones in here. And we're gonna stroke a big leaf right there. And I'm gonna give this one a little bit of a wiggle and out to the point. Same thing here. And then let's balance that. We're going to add one right there and one there. Okay. All right. Now I want to switch over now to my script liner. So I'm going to get that damp and let's come. Ooh, that's really close. <laughs> so let's come in here. I'm going to get some water with that and I'm going to come and get some um, yellow ochre. So inky-ish, all right? You don't want it really thin. So slightly thinned with water, yellow ochre, and then I'm gonna streak through some white just like that, all right? And we're gonna come right in here. Let's come down a little bit closer. We're gonna come right in here and I'm gonna add some of these kind of stray, skinny leaves that come off of these things. So, and I just streak through some more yellow ochre, streak through some more white. I'll put it right here so you can see it better. There we go. All right, so right in here. So that's not gonna show up, so I'm just gonna get some white. There we go. Maybe a little burnt umber. All right. And this is kind of the fun part where you're just adding some of these little accent. So I'm just picking up yellow ochre that time, burnt umber before. All right, a little bit of white. Okay, so these are kind of fun just to add these around. And then a little more of the burnt umber. I'm going to come right in here and add a few more of these. Now I'm going to come up the front in this area. You can lay it down and stand it up. So you put with pressure and you lay it down and stand it up, right? A little bit of the coffee latte on that, kind of add it in. There we go. A little more white, a little burnt or yellow ochre, and bring it down with some burnt umber. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a little bit more of this white and a little bit of the coffee latte. And I want to just add some streaks in here because this is all one color down here and that's not what I want. So there we go. So you can just streak in some of this dark and light. Okay, so that's the stand itself. Now we want to add the rope around the center. And so what you're going to do with that is I'm going to, let's clean this off. And I'm going to just pick up some um, burnt sienna. So I'm just loading burnt sienna on this brush and I'm going to streak through some coffee latte. And we're going to come right in here. We're going to lay it down and make stand it up. So you're going to create a little comma stroke right there. A little more of the burnt sienna because I want that to show more. And then next to it you're going to do another one. A little comma stroke next to that next to that. So you're laying it down, standing it up, creating a little weave in there. All right. And then maybe get a little smaller, get in here and let that leaf fall over it. Okay. 
Then I did a second row, so right in here, grab a little more of that coffee latte on there, lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. Okay, so you're just creating a little binding around there. Then I grabbed a little bit of the uh, burnt umber, a little more, and just streak some dark in there. All right. Then over here, let me get a little bit of water with that. Over here underneath, I laid it down and just pulled that off so it looked like the rope was coming from behind this leaf right here. A little of the burnt sienna on top and a little bit of coffee latte. There you go. Okay, so it's just kind of hiding behind there like it's um, tied but you can't see it. What are you painting on? It's not canvas. No, as I said, this is um, a paper, multimedia pad. I mentioned it when I got started. This is Tone Tan by Strathmore. This is a 50 sheet pad of 400 series sketch paper. Okay. All right, so now to finish up this rope, I'm grabbing just a little bit of white and we're going to come in and put a little highlight on some of these. You don't want to do it on all of them, but just a few. All right, so then just to set this on the ground, I came back in with my 10 flat and some medium. Loaded a bunch of medium on this brush and I got burnt sienna and then grabbed a little bit of the uh, burnt umber. And so underneath here, with that medium and those colors, you can kind of come right along the outside edge of it on both sides to set the ground behind it. You can go right up inside here. Okay, and then a little more medium with the color on my brush, just side to side sweep. Okay, so you're kind of setting it on the ground. Grab a little more of the burnt umber and can sputter it away. I think I even picked up a little bit of yellow ochre. Yeah. Just to lighten up the ground around it. Okay. So, final touch, I'm going to come in here with some burnt umber and just um, set those stalks back on that ground. There we go. Okay, so just kind of darken some of those up a little bit too. All right, so wouldn't this look cute on a design, maybe with a few pumpkins sitting around it or a pot full of mums? Um, Maybe have a crow up on top. You could do a whole field of these. It would really be fun, wouldn't it? And to finish this all off, I'm going to get, oh, let's go with a little bit of white here. And there you go, guys. That is your, whoops, that's not showing up. That is your corn shock or corn stack. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it gave you some ideas on what you can use it for. Thank you all so much for joining me for this demo.